Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. So we're in the middle of a heat wave here. So what better time to make a video about keeping your aquarium cool? We've got some record temperatures coming up in the next few days. So I need to be making precautions about what I'm doing with my tanks that are in my house. My fish room, I'm not too worried about because the fish room is insulated. That protects it from heat as much as it does from cold. But the temperature in the house is going to rise and I can't air condition everything. So what are we going to do about tanks like this? If you want to, you can just rush out and buy an aquarium chiller, but I'm going to talk about some of the more DIY options here. But my first number one tip is get something like this, a thermometer, some way of measuring the temperature in your aquarium. The number one problem I see people running into is that they don't know what's going on and they just start throwing solutions at the problem. They drop the temperature far too quickly. They don't know what's going on. So measure the temperature, keep a chart if you have to, just to know what's going on because dropping the temperature too quickly it's probably going to do more harm than letting it get a bit hot. So given the number one tip is to monitor the temperature of your aquarium, what else can you do? So if you have a lid on your aquarium, lose that lid. A lot of the things we can do to reduce the temperature of the aquarium is to aid the natural process, so evaporation. Like when humans sweat, that's, that's a cooling effect of evaporation. Aid that, get rid of the lid, give it somewhere to go, get some extra air. Number one thing, I'm going to have several number ones now. Once you've lost the lid, get an aquarium air pump, uh, get an air stone in there, get some bubbles going, get some water movement. And again, the bubbles breaking the surface of the water aids that evaporative effect. So as the heat rises in an aquarium, the ability for the water to store the oxygen level drops. So warmer water holds less oxygen, get more oxygen in there. And the oxygen is put into an aquarium by Surface agitation, um, again, the air pump's gonna be brilliant at this. It's gonna aid the gas exchange to keep more oxygen in the tank. So as well as aiding the evaporation, it's aiding the ability to get more oxygen into your water and save your fish. And um, again, along a, a similar theme, if you've got a, like a little house fan or something like that, you can blow it across the water. It actually does quite a lot to aid that evaporation effect. So you, again, getting colder air, even if it's you're just blowing the air that's in the room across the top of there, it's aiding that evaporative effect. Some of the more extreme ideas you might have, if you have a canister filter, for instance, with quite long hoses, you could run those hoses through an ice bucket or something like that, effectively making a DIY chiller for you. You can get cold bottles of water and put them and float them in there. Um, a lot of people say don't use frozen bottles of water. I have used that in the past and it's not been a, a huge issue. Again, keep an eye on your temperatures and make sure there isn't too big of a swing going on. Get rid of the lights. We don't need lights on. Most lights these days, modern LEDs, aren't adding that much heat, but we don't need to be adding any heat to an aquarium when it's a hot weather. So get rid of the lights, get rid of the lid, shut the curtains, um, make sure you've got no natural light beaming in on top of your fish tank so as it's aiding to that heating effect. Add air, and then if you need to, put in cold bottles of water, frozen bottles of water, float them. Have a few of them on the go so you can rotate them and keep them in. But the number one thing is, Make sure you're monitoring that temperature. Number two thing is get more movement, air, oxygen in there, and then your fish will be able to handle that temperature a little bit better if they have to. So I hope that was useful in some way to you. If you've got any more ideas, tips, leave them in the comments, let everybody know. So if you are checking this video out for the first time, if you're a fairly new fish keeper, go and check out the comments, see what people are saying. If these ideas won't work for you, um, there might be something in there that works for your particular situation. If you did find that useful, Give me a like, give me a subscribe, click that button, it all helps. Uh, make videos every week on this channel. We have a live stream on a Friday night at 9pm UK time. You can come and join us, ask me any questions there. But thanks for watching, see you in the next one. Bye!